Here comes the pink slips. Well, thanks for clicking on the AcroNewsNow.com update. I'm Lindsay McCoy bringing you a look at the latest local news. Well, Mayor Don Pasquelic is projecting how many more city employees will lose their jobs, including police officers, if unions won't agree to contract concessions. In a chart of city expenses and budget deficits released by the mayor and the city finance director, Diane Miller-Dawson, a minimum of 23 workers or a maximum of 129 city employees would have to be trimmed from the payrolls. It all depends on the range of budget deficit from $1 million to $6 million, and the number of police officers losing their jobs would range from 23 to 139. Deputy Mayor Dave Liebreth says the final numbers depend on concessions the FOP and two other city employee unions would or would not agree to. Liebreth says Pasquelic was in Washington, D.C. today. He's looking for grants that could help reduce the number of layoffs, including police officers. And he says that the unions who have not negotiated concessions still have time to do so. Well, Akron's police union is challenging the city budget numbers based on an analysis of the city's own figures. The union's accountant notes that Akron should not have to lay off anyone. FOP Lodge 7 President Paul Holinsky explains. The city is actually in better shape than they were last year. Uh, we're not saying they're rolling in dough, but they're in much better shape. All revenues are up other than local government funding, which is down a little bit. So they're going to have a surplus at the end of the year. In other local news, an Akron man is the subject of a search on a Michigan waterway. He's been missing since the weekend on a kayak trip. We go now to the newsroom where Chris Kepler has more details on this story. 63-year-old Patrick Raymond, a prominent Akron area lawyer, was kayaking in Little Traverse Bay, Michigan on Friday. His family became concerned reported missing when he didn't come home. Uh, sheriff's deputies and other searchers found a kayak about a thousand feet off the shore a little bit later in the day. Uh, the sheriff, local sheriff up there. <laughs> you are doing great. Mixing in stuff here because I don't know who found that. All right, we'll do it again in three, two, one. 63-year-old Patrick Raymond of Akron, a prominent area lawyer, was kayaking Little Traverse Bay area of Michigan on Friday. His family was concerned when he didn't come home. Several hours later, his kayak and a paddle was found about 1,000 feet off the shore. Now, the local sheriff has told a local television station in Michigan that this has shifted from a rescue mission to a recovery mission. Chris Kepler, AkronNewsNow.com. Thanks, Chris. And a Summit County judge upholds a jury's recommendation for a local killer. On Monday, 32-year-old Johnny Cook was sentenced to life in prison without parole for killing a mother and her son. Jurors convicted Cook last month on four counts of aggravated murder with death specs, aggravated robbery, and others. DNA linked him to the murders. While he's moving on to play in another town, LeBron James has handed over a $30,000 check to the city of Akron to help pay for youth basketball programs in Akron. Akron City Council President Marco Somerville says the basketball star told him that he'll always do what he can to help young people in Akron. Now, the check was presented during the annual King for Kids Bikeathon. And speaking on the move to Miami, at first LeBron James' high school sweetheart and mother of his two kids was not all about Miami. Now she's dishing on the move. Savannah Brinson, in a photo shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, says that she was not thrilled about the move to South Beach, but she's making some adjustments without any complaints. As far as her and LeBron getting hitched, Savannah says it isn't up to her and it'll happen when it happens. Well, as we take a look at what's happening outside in the Akron area today, it's going to be hot. 90 degrees for your high is expected in the Akron area, mostly sunny skies. For Wednesday, same goes with a high of 90 degrees with such a slight chance of thunderstorms. As we look at our five-day forecast, the slight chance for storms lingers throughout the week with highs in the 90s on Thursday and Friday. Saturday, a high of 88 with a 40% chance for showers. Continue to follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news, sports weather, and traffic updates 24-7. And you can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy. Keep cool in this hot weather.